Hey there, it's Sedani, and we're back playing Star Control Origins, and we're visiting the Taiwan homeworld. Uh, there's my ship way up there. Okay. <clears throat> Apparently they got themselves into some trouble, and we got to investigate and see what's up, and then maybe help them with their trial. Um, they, d they did bad things. They made a meat puppet, apparently. And we can't see it yet, so it's going to be interesting. Welcome back, best friend. Hi there. Oh, actually, we've got some super fluids. Can you help us cure this infection now? Okay, I forgot we did that. We sure can. Thank you. We'll send some mucus to you now. We always keep several thousand jars on hand, just in case any guests drop by. Lovely. Be sure to apply liberally to every crevice, best friends. Oh, the horror. <laughs> so, working together, your crew applies the mucus liberally to every crevice. Yeah, that's a visual I didn't need. <laughs> you did it, humans! You're now completely free of the Pinthi infection. Yay! And, if I might say... You also look far more shiny and attractive. Not so yay. Those damn Pinthy. <laughs> Is there anything else, best friend? As a matter of fact, um... Do you want to explain this human puppet the Mukai apparently made for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, that. Mm -hmm. It's more innocent than it looks. Uh-huh. Well, then explain it. It's just... Uh, we wanted to practice hugging you. We've messed up so many introductions with aliens. Uh, we wanted our first meeting with you to go uh, perfectly. Okay. And it was perfect, wasn't it? Look what good friends we are now. Uh-huh. Such good friends that we won't even let this secretly commissioned meat puppet that looks just like you get between us. Well, that's great. Uh, thank you for explaining. Um, but they also want to kick us out of the Federation because you gave us the hyperdrive. But you were ready for the hyperdrive. Look at all the amazing things you've done with it. One, you've become our friends. Two, uh, other things. You know, we've learned a thing or two about Muke Law, having submitted several hundred membership applications to them. We can probably help you fight these charges. I think the smartest thing to do is prove three things to the Muke. That we were defending you from the Scribe. That you were capable of handling the responsibility of hyperspace travel. And that you really like being our friends. Well, two out of three isn't bad. Um, I think we can do that, so it sounds like a plan. The first thing you can do is check your solar system for wreckage from the Scribe ship that attacked you there. I already did that. During the trial, you can use that to show the imminent danger humanity was in that we helped you with. Okay. Well, we've already got that. You did? Yep. Great! Secondly, we need to prove how ready humanity was for hyperspace. Okay. You haven't driven your ship into a black hole or... Accidentally gone into perpendicular space yet, so, uh, that's good. But have you done anything more productive than not dying? I killed a bunch of aliens. For instance, have you helped the Muke with any problems? We saved one of their colonies. That's good. Anything else? Um, we did something. Um, we found them a whole mess of ice worlds. That's good. Anything else? And we rescued a stuck ship. 
So you've done a bunch of things for them. We certainly did. Like substantially more than you've done for us. Um... Your best friends. Uh... Huh. Yeah. Well, you, you know, you're just so self-sufficient, is all. Of course we are. <laughs> Thanks, friends. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a lot then. If you just mention all that during the trial, we should be in good shape. Okay. But there is one more thing you can do which might help. You're going to get someone else in trouble instead of us. What does that mean? Uh, that sounds like something the Nanak would say. It does, doesn't it? Uh-huh. So here's the thing. We didn't totally find humanity on our own. Another alien told us where to find you. Mm. Which means we're not the only ones who have been interfering with humanity. And, um, who told you where to find us? We don't know who they were. Great. One of our friendship potential surveys met them in the Beta Chardery system. It was a ship we've never seen before, or since. They also didn't display anything but static on our view screens. They simply told us that they knew who we were and where we might find a friend. Uh -huh. This was obviously suspicious, but, you know... I know. We kind of needed friends. Mm -hmm. Yep, I know. And how does this help us? If someone else <clears throat> is interfering with humanity's development, the Muke would want to know about that. The Muke are pretty nosy that they way. They hate that kind of thing and would immediately reward anyone who reported it to them. Oh. You probably should have reported us to them, in fact. Oh. Would have saved you a lot of trouble. I realize this isn't very helpful advice now. I'll stop talking. Thank you. Anyways, you might want to look into these mysterious aliens for your own reasons. It is pretty weird and creepy. Even by your standards. Weirder and creepier than you normally get dealing with us, anyways. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll go do that. Is there anything else, best friend? Um. Let's see if we can get some fuel. Oh, we can sell stuff. Fluorine. Do I need fluorine? I don't know if I need all this stuff. We did the super fluid thing. Oh, Francium. Um, Argon. We needed that. Okay. I think we got the stuff for. The, I think that's for the hospital. We need to just to find the um the crystal. I can't remember what it all all is. Okay, let's um sell everything. Off it all goes. Alrighty, not a problem. Let's fill up the ship. Okay, I think that's all we needed. Alrighty, let's see. Where do we need to go? The beta ch something system, Chaudhry system. Beta. Here it is. Well, let's just autopilot. All right, and off we roll. Okay, and here we are in the Beta Chowdhury system. And there is an interesting ship. Let's go see who these people are. Is that the ship or is that the ship? The one that's leaving the system. Oh, it's a way station. Hail. Hello, anybody home? Carrie, I can't hear you. So I'll read your text. Ugh, okay, caged alien pet. Captain, the starbase appears to be abandoned. Our scans only show one item of interest. We're having it transported to the ship. Okay. Um. Okay, there's a 
planet over there that looks like it may have some interesting something of interest on it big orange exclamation hmm all right let's check it out hmm unidentified object what is that can't quite tell all right Let's land. All right, let's go find out what that is. Of course, we're going over the only mountain. <laughs> Jeez, I could have gone around it. Ooh, what is this thing? Looks like a ship. Captain, we found a ruined Trandall vessel here. Oh. Looks like it got torn up by something from the inside. What happened here? Huh. Was this the mysterious ship the Taiwan met here? The Trandles? Why would Overmind be watching us? Oh dear. There's a computer core here we can salvage. Encrypted. We should ask Overmind what it knows about this. We have to go back to the Overmind? Well, they are our friends now. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What's our objectives? Alright, let's go talk to the Overmind. Uh, where was the Overmind? I can't remember where they were. Oh, somewhere over here, right? Was it in the Delta? Oh, should we autopilot? That's a long ways to go. Um, well, let's... Where's the nearest... Well, I guess this one's the closest one. A lot of traveling today. Okay, we're in the Alpha Corpus system, and I think I see a tr Overmind right there. I think that's Overmind's ship. Let's see what they know if they talk to us. Hello! Oh, it's Trandles. Trandles! Hello, Trandles! Hello again, allied husks. Hello! So, we found a crashed ship. Have you been stalking us? No. What? Why do you ask? Well, aliens with an interest in us were hanging out in a system where we found a sh ship. My ships are in many places. I know that. Spreading over mind is busy work. I'm sure. They have never encountered you or your people before, though. Oh. Do you have salvage from this ship? A computer core, maybe? Yes, we do. Carrie was very good about getting one of those. I will analyze this now. Thank you much, friend. You wait patiently while Overmind investigates the computer core you found. Hello. How long is this going to take, dude? I'm not very patient. <laughs> this is interesting. Is it? This core came from a vessel destroyed by an unknown alien. You know, we saw a weird ship It also that has a system. great deal of information you may find interesting. Thank you. But it contains information you would not understand. Not in your current state. Uh... Join me. Join Overmind. Learn over my secrets. No, let's get, um, just give us the cliff notes. We're allies, so you have to tell us. You are right. Okay, here's a summary of pertinent information on the computer core. It originated from one of my vessels spreading over mine in the Chaudhary sector. Yep, found my it. My husks encountered an unknown ship and tried to spread over mine to it. The oh. unknown ship destroyed my husks. Those bastards. There are no records of why this alien was interested in you. So it seems you have a powerful new enemy. What? Not my problem. Ah, uh, thanks Wait. a lot. You are allied husks. It is my problem. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. Okay, tell them okay about the mysterious ship. Alright, well thanks anyway, Overmind. We're gonna 
be going now. Okay, allied husk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're headed back to the McKay. <laughs> Jeez. Alrighty. We are doing a lot of travel today. Good thing I got a big gas tank. Whoops, wrong button. Um, let's go to the starbase. We're gonna do some system hopping. Okay, let's go find the McKay's home world. Um, it's over here somewhere. Hello, there it is, Mukayan. So we spin around all these planets so I don't accidentally hit them with my nose. Chip's nose, I should say. Oh my gosh, hello! Ah, oh, darn it. There we go. Many playful splashes, Federation members. Hello, squeaky friends. We are ready to proceed with the trial of humanity and also twi-manity, <laughs> tai <-womanity. laughs> Then let's begin. All right, let's roll. The tai stand accused of interfering with the natural development of a primitive species. Humanity stands accused of being that primitive species. How do you plead? We intend to prove that's not a crime. You intend to attack the very foundation of the Federation legal system with confused and hilariously unrigorous arguments? Well, when you put it like we that... Yes, this is a proper Federation trial. What basis do you have for making such a claim? Ooh, an even greater alien was interfering with the Taiwan. Well, this is interesting. Testimony from one of the accused about a mysterious alien who may or may not have been doing anything. Supported by the word of an immoral, moderately villainous, self-replicating AI. My fins are not trembling at this news. Oh, she's good. This be perhaps angry. lessens the degree of the Taiwan's guilt. But even if interfering with young species is common and everyone does it... No kidding. That doesn't make it right. We will grant you that this is very interesting, and that blundering into interesting things is a key part of being a Federation citizen. Uh-huh. Okay. Um... Humanity was about to be destroyed by this... No. Were they? Uh, how do I want to do this? Maybe it doesn't matter. Matter. Um, let's do the scribe. I see. Debris from a scribe ship. Yes. In our home system. Although this could have come from any of the literally thousands of scribe wrecks littering the galaxy, we'll take it as proof of your claim. Thank you. The scribe empire was about to destroy humanity, and the Taiwan helped prevent this. Yes. But is trying to save you not itself a crime of the Taiwan? The Taiwan are ward species of the Scribe Empire. Protecting humanity violated several pieces of Scribe legislation. How can we permit the Taiwan into the Federation knowing their disdain for the rule of law? And how can we permit humanity to remain knowing you would be so disdainful of legislation requiring your destruction? This is not going well. That seems startlingly naive. Wasn't starting the Federation itself a violation of scribe law? It technically was. We mainly accounted for that by just not telling them. Uh-huh. Which is itself illegal. Yes. So... Uh-huh. Yes. But a wildly inconsistent interpretation of the rules is a key part of the Federation's legal system. This was all discussed in your membership package. Sure it was. Um, well, we were ready for s hyperspace travel. What proof do you have of that? We haven't... Um, Other than the one time you rescued our stuck ship. And? And the colony of ours you saved. And? And all those ice worlds you found for us. Okay. And the six alliances you've somehow forged with other civilizations. And? Was that it? Yeah, 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 all that. <laughs> 
Perhaps humanity was ready for the great responsibility that it didn't in any way earn. What? We also wanted to be uplifted. Of course you did. My people have a saying. If you give a fish a gun, you can't blame the fish for what happens next. Well, we already had some pretty big guns. <laughs> yes, you did. But the point stands. Mm -hmm. No one refuses a gift of technology. That you welcomed hyperspace travel doesn't make it right for the Thai Worm to give it to you. Think of the consequences of their action. Sentient beings everywhere now prepare for war. Is this the result of you, a violent and primitive land fish, stepping on the galactic stage before you were ready? Um, no. I called you a fish again. I'll stop that. What? Is that all the evidence you have to present? Do you have any concluding remarks? Oh, what should we do here? We probably shouldn't do that one. That sounds a bit too accusatory. They are our Federation friends. Um, I can't decide between one and three. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if they care about that. Let's try three. Both the Taiwan and ourselves were just trying to do the right thing. But who is to judge whether that's true or not? You, the judge, the one judging this trial. A fair point. <laughs> yes, saving humanity was probably the right thing to do. And your actions since then demonstrate your own passion for writing injustices. Thank you. Like all the help you've provided my people. Yeah. And the way you convince the dragon to stop murdering people for irrelated reasons. Mm. And the mouthing's disease you helped cure. Yeah, but I haven't built the We hospital. have made a decision. Humans, we find. Innocent. And what about Whether the Taiwans? Whether you discovered hyperspace for yourself or not, you are clearly a force for good. Or at least a force for evil in the other direction of the current prevailing evil. The Taiwan we find yes. creepy, but they were correct to save humanity from the scribe <sighs> and provide you with a hyperdrive and accidentally spark an interstellar war with great trembling reluctance. <laughs> We will permit the Taiwan to become the third member of the <gasps> Federation of Allied Species. Yay, Taiwan! We'll tell them to be cool. <laughs> There's one other thing. Of course there is. With the trial concluded, we no longer have need for this human-shaped meat puppet. Oh, no. We would like to give it to you. Oh, what are we going to do with it? Can we use it for hijinks? <laughs> can we... Oh, can we make it do chores? Oh, yes. Gross. Disgusting chores. And because it isn't sentient, it's totally ethical. Oh, cool. Got it. Is there anything else? I think we're done here. We're gonna get going. Take care, Federation member. Alrighty. We are done. The Taiwan are in the Federation. I wonder if we should go talk to him about that. Let's go talk to him about that before we end this episode. Oh, Taiwan people. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Next system. Get going, ship. Get going. There we go. Peace. Captain Star Control has contacted us. They want us to return to Earth as soon as we can to discuss a vital new element to our mission. All right, we're on our way. We just need to stop by and talk with our friends, the Taiwan. Oh, come on, ship. Get over there. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Don't move too fast. You might hurt yourself. 
Okay. Let's just check in with them. You did it! Best friends ever! <laughs> Only? Ah, <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Look at us now. Members of an interstellar federation. You are a friend out of legend. For this, Whoa. my people will make you Taiwan royalty. Your new title is Right Honorable Best Friend. My people will give you so many hugs the moment you step foot on this world. Oh, that's so not necessary. Okay, we're just going to get going now. Um, and we'll see you later. Bye. Please hurry back. We'll think about we it. We can hang out any time. Hmm. Bye. Okay, we're going to end this episode now. That was pretty fun. Uh, we've got the trial <laughs> done and over with. So that's one uh, thing off our to-do list. Uh, let's see. Oh, we need to do the hospitals and travel to Beta, Beta Horus. Establishing their colony. I guess we probably could have done that before. All right. Nice. Uh, so we have a few more tasks to do. We got to go find the famished and figure out how to do the Mitmac and the measured, get information from them. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.